studio and to do this on a weekly basis and provide these players with money on a weekly basis as well to give us some great competition. But we are heading now officially into Old Town and we are on board with Detox from Rise Nation. Let's see if they can come out strong heading towards this B fight. Detox probably getting backed up by Avexi's powers of Ursa, probably playing the middle. Drix capping their home. On the other side, Rush is an icy. Resic and Sleepy and Franchise cap the home, but it's going to be reciprocity with first blood quickly, even up with a powers kill. But Detox, he knows his teammate died towards B Street, so he's quickly trying to move past, trying to catch the enemies and bring them back towards his side. But he needs to keep in the back of his head that the short respawn means somebody's going to be behind him. But luckily, thanks to Icy, he doesn't have to worry about that anymore. His Icy takes him out. Yeah, and you see reciprocity looking to kind of take over the side. You're seeing. Drake's gonna try and make his way out of there. R R Rise Nation kind of swarming this hill right now. Drake's looking to take out Icy in the process. Just trading shots back and forth. Gonna try and make his way out of there without getting killed. You're gonna see a Versa and a Vexi's pick up kills as well. So trade's kind of just coming back and forth. You're gonna see four members of Rise Nation alive, three members of Wreck, and there is still a fight going down at this A hill right now as Powers and a Versa take out Icy and Sleepy. And Jacob, it is a bloodbath at this A hill. I can't even keep up with all the kills left and right. It is just flank after flank, kill after kill, two piece after two piece, and on short spawns, it just never stops. It's just a constant flank through either the in grenade or the side weapon. I say in grenade, referencing back to Gears of War 2 when this map was first introduced. Vexy's getting a double kill. Make that a triple kill. As I said, that that triple kill had one of his teammates in oh, it. Make no. that four piece. Please kill your teammate and make it a five piece. No. Not gonna happen, but Where'd Jacob, try? short spawn, you can always get these touches. Can Rise hold it down? They do, in fact, just that and take a 1-0 lead. That round was an absolute bloodbath. It literally started with Icy and Sleepy kind of pushing through that hallway, forcing the members to rise out towards where that pistol would spawn. And, and they went all the way around, cut all the way back, and flanked Icy and Sleepy time again. And that's when the rest of the members of Reciprocity were able to spawn up and then it stopped the flank from happening over and over. But by then, it was just too late. The members of Rise Nation got a couple kills. They took out Icy. They took out Sleepy time. And from there, they were able to continue the swarm on the home hill. But if you look at the weapon, the weapon that was placed by Reciprocity is going to be grenades in in the middle. I, I remember Rise Nation when they had Jerpy on the squad. Him and Powers were, were pretty, pretty strong in that middle. So it, interesting how it's going to change, not necessarily, or not only with the new player in Shock, but with a sub in Aversa as well. Those nades in the middle can make that B fight an absolute nightmare, right? If your opponent has those nades from middle, can quickly throw them over that gate, it can spell tons of trouble right now. So definitely something that each team wants to make sure does not lie in their opponent's hands. And you're seeing three quick kills in favor of Reciprocity right now. The last two members alive are going to be over at B for Rise Nation, so I assume the grenades will be in the hands of Reciprocity. They're just saying, we don't even need them. They're going to go straight for the trip cap. And look at the team fire. That was a quick one, Jacob. Very, very dominant round. 35 seconds, and we are quickly tied at 1-1. He couldn't even wall bounce. He was quickly brought down. Detox tried to backtrack towards the home. I don't like what Detox did, simply. If he is going to do that, make sure you know your teammate, Vexy is going to back out with you because if you stick together, that's a 2v2. You have a better opportunity at trying to break the hill rather than trying to backtrack, run into Lancers. You know they're on your home hill. The rest of your team died. So interesting decision-making by Detox, but... It's still one-to-one. -one. It's still a bloodbath, close back-and-forth action, but Rise Nation's going to place that sniper towards the B Street, which means, you know, if a big weapon is going to come out, it's going to come out towards Bell, Bell Tower, Tower, unless yeah. one team places next. Yeah, definitely. Think. If it does go Bell Tower, that makes the fight interesting, too, because while the boom shot is over there, the B Hill is all the way on the other side of the map, so that's one thing to always think about when it comes to these initials. But for now, we have a snipe over towards that B side of the map. You see Detox is kind of toying with it, but decided to go help his teammates instead. And miss a couple shots, and Rushies will make him pay. It does go down in the process, so you're seeing three members of Rise pushing towards that middle area. Avex is going to take out one at B, make oh that two, God. and just absolutely embarrass Reciprocity in the process. Five members down. Jacob, this is going to almost surely be a trip cap as the decap comes in, and there is no way that Reciprocity can get a break. Rise wins around, Reciprocity wins around, and now Rise wins again, so... 
We talked about it already Play back grounds. and forth action. You know, it, it comes down to if your teammate is going to go ahead and die, you got to make sure to prolong that round, especially if your teammates are dying around the map as well. You want to make sure to, even if you're not capping the hill, stay alive. Make them come to you and fight you. Yeah, obviously, if you have to go out because they're triple capping, that's another story. But as long as you don't hear that sound coming out, as long as it's not being threatened with your backs up against the wall, then you should be A-OK. -okay. But we look at the weapons that are being hovered around side weapon right now being thrown around maybe something to stop marxos or retros being thrown down towards the b street so that way the hill over on that side of the map the neutral hill isn't going to be too hard to get to it's going to be very similar smoke and push tactics definitely so basically just sniping nays all that remain both these last rounds though it hasn't even matter what's on the map because both of these rounds have been just instant wipes and trip caps one round was 35 seconds one round was 44 seconds so if anything goes like the last two rounds have gone, I don't even think we're going to see these weapons on the map. Let's see if either team can do a better job at weathering the storm when they begin to lose numbers. We're going to hop on board with Rushies as he heads to that B fight. You see Detox once again just getting aggressive, getting up in that area where the weapon is picking up that snipe very quickly. Rushies going to turn around and try and get him a Lancer because he's marked. You can still kind of see him through the smoke a little bit, but Avexi is going to be there to protect him right now. Initial shots coming in. Averse is going to get ice broken on Sleepy Time. Once again, three members go down, make that four, Jacob, we might be on our way. That's five to yet another round in less than a minute. These have been just absolute bloodbath so far, and Rise Nation continues to just wipe and trip cap so far on map two. Boom shot a drop shot bell tower. Has to be. 100%. Has to be. Because, I, I mean, I guess you can go ahead and throw us another side weapon down because you, you, you are allowed to do that, so... But I, I just don't see that switching up the fight. And right now, even when it looks like Reciprocity has some sort of advantage with getting that sniper, getting a little bit of position, you know, they were quickly taken out. There it is. Yep. You call it, Jacob. Boomer, Boomer drop towards the bell tower. It's, it's got to change up the fight. Everyone's going to rush over there. At least three to four members, maybe one guy in the middle, and that's about it. Now, can Reciprocity stop the quick pick from Rise Nation? It seems like no matter what the weapon is, no matter what map it's on, they are up in there and taking that weapon so quickly. So curious to see if they're going to be able to do that against a team like Reciprocity. You might get up in their face a little quicker than most. The round is going to go out. Rushy's going out unstunned, throwing that smoke across. So stuns the enemy team. Trying to go for a, a look like there for a moment. If I know Rushy's, he likes to quick pick weapons, but he saw the guy run in front of him. He knows... If he were to pick up that weapon, he get chunked. First grenade is going to come out. Not able to connect with anything just yet. Sniper in the hands of Drix as well. So Franchise, he kind of needs to be careful here. Not get caught slipping because I don't think anybody really knows where Drix is at. And there he goes. Gets the headshot on Rushy as he picks up the boom. I do believe the boom should still go in the hands of Icy. So it's not over just yet. But he did get a pick, and, and that's something. And double home hills are going to be in Reciprocity's hands. You see Icy is over at that C hill with the boom shot. That's going to basically make it a living hell for Rise Nation to get that hill back. Gets the mark coming in. It looks like... We're going to have Drix versus Franchise. Fran going to come out on top as he looks to start to cap that B hill. Icy trying to do everything he can to hold down this home hill still. You see the Mitchell coming in by Vexies. Oh, he's not going to get there in time. The caps come in. And Rec puts their second round on the board. It looks like that boom shot placement has been working. Yep. And to me, that's exactly what they, they needed right now because time and time again, like I explained maybe a round ago, maybe two rounds ago, I, I see in Rushies, no matter how good they are, it doesn't seem like it's working over there on the B Street. So you kind of want to switch it up, put a big power weapon on the other side of the map, which forces everybody to kind of relocate and play for the next big weapon. And that means Drix, kind of the home hill player, instead of going towards that A hill, which he normally would, he goes towards the B Street along with, I do believe that would be maybe franchise, unless they don't send anybody middle. And if Rec can win this fight again, that's something that Rise Nation needs to think about as we start to edge into the second half, right? Are they going to maybe put an X over at Bell Tower next time? Are they going to do something to maybe force the fight elsewhere? Because if Rec can win two rounds in a row on this setup, you know they're going to try and use it on the second half. Let's see if they can maybe make some sort of adjustment to change it. But Rez is going to open up with first blood. You're going to see Rush push through once again towards Boom. I mean, all the numbers again are in favor of Reciprocity towards this fight. Right. Oh, oh but no. Rushies once again gets picked off as he picks Boom up. Power is last alive. Even if Rec can get the kill right now on him, they are, will not have enough members to trip cap. So definitely a big heads up play by Re uh, sorry, Powers to take out that Boom and extend the round out. Yep. Unfortunately, Sleepy Time gonna finally pick up that kill on Powers and get the Boom shot in his hand. So. Yeah, if they can move this boom forward to the opposite home hill right now and kind of use that, one of the players from Wreck can cap their own home off spawn. So it's going to be about Rise Nation 
trying to weather through that boom. Drake's going to go down. That means that now Sleepy's going to have full control on that A-cap. You can see two members alive towards B right now. I see in a great position to get some team fire in there. Rush nice. with the first one. Make that two. Powers last alive. Sleepy going to just hold that boom shot over the A-hill. This is not looking good. Powers, he's not going to get it. Nothing you can do there. Reciprocity ties it back up. That boom placement definitely working. Now Rise Nation, something to think about as we head in the second half. Now the hills have been flipped. Spawn timers go back down, and then the weapons are all erased. So we are heading into the second half with a 3-3, three to three, Jacob. So it's basically a first to four here. Second half only. Rise Nation got some thinking to do here because if they lose this round, are they going to do something similar with the sniper towards B Street and try to do the fight? Or are they going to X off the Bell Tower? On the other hand, Reciprocity convincingly winning these rounds with the boom shot over on Bell Tower. Is that something you initially go to if you lose a round? Only time will tell. Rushies, on the other hand, once again getting past that smoke, unstunned. His teammate's probably calling out the push through the center. Rai is going to strike first. Rushies, he's going to do what he can. Team kill coming out from Avexis. Detox is going to fall. Rushies can do what he can by taking out Sleepy or. Yeah, take it out Sleepy Rushies. He's going to go down as well. So Rise Nation, four members up, taking out three members of Reciprocity before Powers takes out another one on Rezik. Luckily for Reciprocity, they're spawning up already because of the short respawns in the second half. Well, it looks like someone snuck towards that deal as well to kind of just make that round a little tougher. And you see Icy hiding behind this corner, going to catch a Vex. He didn't know he was sitting there. So now Icy is going to have free reign to get that decap onto E. And now Reciprocity looking poised to hold Kind of a two cap setup. They're only down maybe 15 or so points, so they're going to definitely have enough time to make some time back up. You're going to see the push coming in from Re uh, sorry, Rise Nation. Reciprocity going to open up with a kill, get traded out. Icy going to see two players run right by him. Team kill comes in, and then Rezik picks up Drick. So I definitely kind of an ill advised play for Rise, and now we have a 1v1 situation. Aversa versus Icy. Icy is going to take him out, and Rec still holds down that two cap. Score is initially, or it's going to eventually, go, ooh, going to go in in Reciprocity's favor as a Vexy's kind of hiding behind that cover, taking out Rushies when he gets the cover, reaction shotting him, taking him out. With two hills in the favor of Reciprocity, they're looking to eventually gain a neutral hill. Vexy's looks like he was trying to stretch the numbers out of Reciprocity, make a fake push towards the top side while the rest of his team pushes low. Reciprocity seeing it come in franchise. He's going to take out Detox, and it's not going to stop just yet. His powers, he's going to go ahead and get a nice double kill, taking out Rezik and Icy, but this bloodbath is going to continue to go on. Avexis right now, he, he's kind of just waiting. Both Sleepy Time and Avexis are kind of waiting to see if their team across the map is going to win or lose the fight. Whoever's team loses the fight, that's when you expect them to press that pressure. Good job by Rush. He's get that trade in. It's going to be big. Drix doing his best to get that E-Hill. Take him down once again. So two members down for Rise Nation. Make that three. One's going to be off spawn, though. But again, Reciprocity did a great job of holding down those objectives right now. At the 150 mark, they hold two hills to Rise Nation's one. If they can continue to kind of just hold down that neutral hill and obviously hold down their own hill, they will win this off of time. As the clock goes down and the time is ticking, Rise Nation needs to start thinking about maybe a split push, maybe something to kind of just start to get some breaks in to try to kind of equal the odds because the longer they wait, the more Reciprocity's lead will rise. Easy Powers trying to make a last disc effort push. Not only does he need to break E, his team needs to break D as well. Kind of saw somebody sneaking below Powers, so he needs to go big. His team needs to go big. Aversa's in a crucial battle. Powers in a crucial battle. Versus is going to lose and power is going to lose. So reciprocity four to three, winning three straight rounds here. Momentum is seemingly on their side from here on out. But like I said, if you're Rise Nation, you lose that first round of the half. This is where you can kind of you, you go for that sniper placement towards the B Street. Do you place an X at the Bell Tower or do you go with your nades in the middle, kind of similar to what you did before? But I do not enough. any way, shape or form agree <laughs> with that weapon placement or lack of weapon placement. <laughs> You're Xing out the one side of the map that you've been successful on this entire time. If anything, you want to put a boom shot there. You want to force the fight to Backstreet because they were not successful at all against you at Backstreet. 
now the fight is almost surely going to be towards Bell Tower for the rest of the match. So uh, I'm not sure if that was an accident. I'm not sure if that was, I don't know what that was, but definitely not the weapon placement that I would think you would want to put based on how these first few rounds have gone. So if you're Rise Nation, you're licking your lips right now because you know the rest of the fight is going down towards the area where you have seen the most success on Old Town. And Rushy's getting the party started, getting the first kill onto a Vexy's detox goes down as well. Aversa though answers back with a double kill of his own and Franchise. Going to fight with Drix over towards those pillars. Going to take him out. And now he's going to have a free trip right over to the Rise Nation home hill as Aversa needs to continue to try and get another two-piece. Gets flanked by Rushies, though. And this round is looking like reciprocity written all over it. You can see as the rotations start to come in, Powers, though, sneaks their home hill at the same time. So good job keeping his team in the round. Rezik versus Powers. Powers going to get that kill, but he's going to be Lancered down by Sleepy. One more bullet's going to do it, but... Rise Nation managing to get some kills and stay alive. Three but go down for wreck. Oh my God. Now that is four. <laughs> and the tides have just ran all of a sudden turned over, Jacob. It's just like it's like almost at any point in this matchup so far, when you think one team is gonna be able to run away with it, the other team kind of just wakes up, slaps him in the mouth, and then we have a complete 180 of the match. You see it looks like like Reciprocity was kind of pressing in forward for that triple kill. Now Rise Nation with two hills in their control, with only trailing about 25 points and reciprocity barely getting on the board yet again. They have ample time to come back. Rise Nation does have a strong footing, but not like that. Not if you have multiple members that are going to get taken out. Good job by Rush there. Like in that revive on, almost guaranteed himself the trade there. So now he's going to get that trade and probably go for a potential. Looks like no, an OE actually. Not even just a, a single person. A full OE. Three members of Reciprocity are heading towards the Rise Nation home build. Powers though, going to try and be a one-man army. Takes the first player out. Going to potentially take the second right now. As Rushies is very low. Takes him out though. And they're trying their best to just make sure they get out of alive at this point. Yep. Yeah, and that was good job by Power staying alive long enough for his teammates to respawn so that even though he did die, the rest of his teammates funneled and pushed the rest of members of Reciprocity back. And that's where you can expect with them running away, you're physically seeing them run away. You can expect where the push is going to go down towards E. And that's exactly what we're going to jump on board with. Unfortunately for Icy, he stopped as soon as he reaches the top of the ramp. A lot of damage coming out from Rushies, but he's going to get flanked as Powers takes him out. So numbers going in favor of Rise Nation. Powers with two people in the middle. He's going to have to do Powers things to stay alive. Getting take, taken out by Fran. Fran taken very low, though. Going to get taken out. Luckily has a teammate right there. Reciprocity down a decent amount right now. So they need to make sure they start to get some of these decaps on these hills. You see the Lancer fire coming in from Rise. E is the first step in this process. They can get control of E. All they're going to have to do is maybe head towards Rise Nation Homo for a potential break. Ooh. Detox still going to take out the first. Make that two. Another massive play by Detox. Powers going to follow it up with a kill of his own. And five go down for Reciprocity. Jacob, this is a Rise Nation round. Yep. So as we say, 180 for Reciprocity those last three rounds. It's it's looking like it's going to do just that again as Rise Nation coming out on top, finishing this round pretty darn strong, tying up here 4-4. Four to four, And this is only our second map. So if Rise Nation comes out on top, forces some sort of, you know, round 13, round 11, round 12, whatever it may be, this is only a map two. So we're going to be a third and final map possibly for our grand finals. Definitely looking like we might see that third and final map on Harbor unless Reciprocity has anything to say for it. You see them toying with that potential boom at Bell Tower. Looking like they're going to place nades in the middle, maybe potentially set up that fight if they need to at a later time. I think they're still pretty confident in that initial right now, and those nades only going to make that bell tower fight a little crazier. So not not necessarily enough to, to totally force a new initial, but if you're reciprocity, you're kind of okay with that. Yep. Here we go. With nothing big placed over there just yet, we're going to see very similar fights to what we've already been seeing. But now players got to watch out for those frag grenades. Rushy is doing a good job seeing that little bit of a push going through. But if Vexy's at power, striking first, taking out Icy and Rezik, getting the nades in their hands as well. Luckily for Reciprocity, it's not over as Franchise winning that 1v1 on the backside. That surely gives him enough opportunity to go towards that F hill or at least make some sort of noise somewhere else on the map. But the rest of his teammates are, are getting taken out as well. You see the numbers look like they're going in favor right now for a moment for Reciprocity, especially with another one of them off spawn. Detox is going to be forced to spawn up. Avexis, he's going to get one. Bouncing around he, with a little bit of help. He's going to get a second one. And dodging those Lancer bullets is crucial for Avexis not going down. So his teammate Power is going to push up and get the guy that was Lancering. Great team play by Rise Nation to try and get back into this match. Yeah, Rush did such a good job holding down that site. And then he, his teammates kind of came for, to the rescue, but kind of got turned on there. And then Rush finally gets taken out. So great rotation over by Rise Nation. 
to take control of that neutral hill. And Nades are starting to come in, it looks like, over towards the reciprocity home. Those sleepy time getting an opening kill. Potentially getting two, does just that. Now Fran falls it up, three dead for Rise Nation. Aversus trying his best to get out alive, otherwise it's gonna be four down. Almost five now as Drix falls. Yep. Both players, I think, inadvertently rolling there. Rush gonna get the big shot on him. Looking for a trip cap right now. There's gonna be members of Ryza that are coming off spawn, so Reciprocity is gonna make sure they hold this down the best they can. Three members are coming and they're coming fast. Good team fire into power is not gonna be able to take them down yet, but they don't get in the hill in time. Wow, that, that, that's a little bit of a mistake, but right there, Powers goes down if he continues going to go for the hill, so he doesn't touch the hill. So realistically, uh, I, I do believe that was what, Detox there, trying for that last ditch effort. Maybe if he gets a different up A, but that's just great timing by Reciprocity. Great damage coming out off the initial when they, when they push through there, trying to regain their home hill. So right there, Reciprocity with a nail-biter finish in that round, going up five to four, so now... Rise Nation with a chance here, a chance to place their weapon wherever they want. Right now, it does look like they're hovering something over on the side, whether it be Marks's Hammer Burst. Boom boxes. Give me boom boxes. <laughs> boom boxes. Put the overkill down. Need boom box. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and, and to me, I don't think we're going to place that by Rise Nation simply because very few people actually know how to utilize it. And one of those people in this game that know how to utilize it is actually on reciprocity. I can dream, Jacob. You want to hear? Don't some let nice my dreams beats, be dreams. Some nice music coming out. I'm, I'm saying I just need I need boombox in that fight. But instead, I get retro lancers. Either way, we're gonna see about the same initial we saw before. Rushies has been so aggressive on this initial so far, and once again, just flies right in there. Detox raiding for him though, and quickly gets the chunk. Now it's looking like Rise Nation is gonna take control as Resic goes down as well. Icy. Kind of something to rock in a hard place. Going to quickly go for the first kill. He's going to get hit from the side, though. Gets the first chunk onto Avexi's Detox. Going to look to follow him up. Uses the cancel and then jumps right through and chunks him as well. Icy making a huge play to buy his team more time. Now three members are down for Rise Nation, and Icy just bought them a ton of time. Right now, Versus. Versus is actually playing out of his mind right now for being a sub for the squad. He's trying to put a little pep in his step, trying to get a stock up here in the Gears of War market, trying to land himself a good team for Gears of War 5. Now you see Reciprocity going for the double home hill setup right now. You see four members of Rise Nation in the mix. Re Franchise getting the first kill, does get traded. Rush has that Retro Lancer, but now he's been taken low from that nade and trying back out. Here comes the team fire. Nice. Ooh, grenade that nade's going to finish him off. It's a good nade. Takes out two there, almost took out three. Rezik hadn't gotten away, so good nade by Ryze. Rezik, though, keeping his team alive. Honestly, if he reaction shots that, he probably gets that kill on Detox. But instead, he goes for a little bit of an up A. Detox catches him slipping. Franchise, he's going to be put full red, eventually downed. But he did get a kill on Drix. So I do believe Franchise will eventually get taken out, especially with Ryze Nation. Trying to threaten for a triple cap. Detox is going to get another kill as he takes out Rush. As he knows he doesn't need to play up in the hill, but getting a second kill, a double kill, as he takes out Sleepy Time as well. Icy, he's going to do what he can, but he's going to get taken out by Avexis. The rest of the members of Rise Nation are pushed up, trying to solidify the rest of this round. And there you have it. They tie it up here once again. Five to five. This is so close to a round number 13. And, and to be honest, Rise Nation, really impressive. They're, they're impressing me with this sub in Aversa. I'm excited to see how they continue to perform when Shot gets back if they land themselves in yet another finals next week. I think Reciprocity should put a boom shot down at Bell, Bell Tower, Jacob. They're going to do just that. When that boom went down in the first half, they won two straight rounds. They need two more left. Yep. And now the boom is down. Will Rise Nation answer the call and, and you know, maybe, like I said, make an adjustment over there? It looked like they made a sort of adjustment there because they knew Rush was going to be super, super aggressive. So Detox waited right there on the cover, knew exactly where he was going to up A and made him pay for it. So maybe these adjustments by Rise Nation could net them a couple round wins when it comes to this boom fight because the first two times it happened, it was in Reciprocity's favor. It's the first time Rush has gotten stunned so far, but Detox, lucky for him. Detox quick picks it and goes out. So, I mean, the boom shot is currently out of play. One's going to be left on the ground somewhere, but... Basically, we're at a 3v3 right now. Look how quick Powers is moving. He knows that, that boom shot is still in play, so he knows he can't necessarily tunnel on one target, but with four dead for reciprocity, Rushy's luckily going to be able to respawn Drix. Franchise going at it. Franchise, he's going to come out on top in the middle, getting those nades, but 
uh, he surely should be dropped to his knees right now as he gets taken out and not even picking up the kill. So one nade should at least be on the floor. Power's taking out rushes. I do believe he might have heard him there because I don't think he saw him on his screen. So Rise Nation with their foot on the gas, looking to press for more. And I do believe he might have one boom shot. No, he actually has no boom shots left. Oh man, this is going to be tough right now. Two members alive, one off spawn, but kills are coming in left and right for Rise Nation. I see he's going to vault over and get the first kill. Player in his hill right now. He has help coming on the way, though. Just up to him and rush. Icy gets another kill on the home hill. Make that two! A massive play by Icy to secure their home hills. How Somehow, he just bobs and weaves and stays alive and just gets kill after kill, flank after flank. A massive play by Icy to keep his team in the round. And on long spawns like this, Jacob, that could swing the tide right now. You see the neutral hill being decapped. Three members are down for Rise, and now we're even seeing potentially a decap on Rise's home hill as Rush takes cover and makes a Vex. He's paid for it. There you go. And look at the rotations Rossi. heading towards E. Yeah, they're, they're turning this round all the way on its backside, and, and they're not afraid to make their plays. They're not afraid to kind of solidify this round in a fashion in which they want to. Detox, he's doing what he can for his team as he takes out Sleepy Time, but this is where both teams are going to choose to kind of reset, reset up, and, and play from there. Rise Nation, they need a little bit more, but as I say that, I do believe they also win off of one hill, so if E goes uncontested by both teams, uh, then Rise Nation will come back, or will solidify themselves to win, but with Detox grabbing Boomshot, I don't think they're going to wait for that. They're going to go ahead and press this tempo, especially since D is there, or F is their home hill. They just need to go forward, and, and Rise Nation looks like they're going to do four towards their home hill and let Detox sit alone was, on that neutral. I was going to say, because you know Rise Nation obviously only had one home hill, or sorry, one hill, which is the neutral, but what spawns by that neutral hill, right? The boom shot is there as well. So despite only having one hill, they, of course, have this massive lead. So getting that boom shot with that one hill, I mean, that's, that's not the worst situation to be in right now. So uh, Reciprocity needs to basically uh, make kind of a big hero play right now to, to try to at least you know, shift the map a little bit right now because obviously the boom shot's in the hands of Ryze, and Ryze only is in favor of one map. This could be the start of it as Sleepy picks up a kill on a Vexies. Rush, pretty hurt. Sees two players in front of him, gonna try and actually run right past him to that smoke, and they're on their way to the E-Hill. Sleepy takes out Powers. Rushy's gonna get taken down very low, though. He sees the two players arise in front of him. Ooh. A first that tries to up AM. What are you doing, Why? he says. I do, that, that is, oh, that is tragic. You should not do that. This is Gears 4, baby. Takes him out in the process, and now Wreck just needs to get a break here. That's gonna be so helpful, but Detox and Drix, they're holding it down at E still. Yes. They didn't get the break. Something that looked like a blunder looked like they didn't get the break. Something else. Rezik, he, he needs to go big right here, but it, it, there's three members in front of him. I, I don't know if he has what it takes right now. Him and Icy. Icy's no. going to get taken down. He's going to fall as well. So Rise Nation. They got it. A sixth round finally retaking the lead. But as I say that, the, the score's kind of still clicking. I don't. Oh, never mind. I, I'm. I'm actually pretty perplexed that they open up with those kills. And I get. There's a boom shot there. I get that. But I mean. We got numbers like that on a map like Old Town where you can kind of shoot from all over the place. You got to get a break. Yeah, something. You got you got to get something. And especially when you take out a Versa the way you did, and that, that opens up doors right there because a Versa is in, in no way, shape, or form should have ever went for that back aid to ever get taken out in that situation. Yeah, I mean, that, that was three. I thought it was, it was like a 2v4, I think, that they took. And again, they had boom shots, so that kind of makes sense. But, man... You gotta be, you gotta be kicking yourself if you're, if you're wreck on that round. That, you opened it up so perfectly. Sleepy made such a big play to put them in that position, but Rise Nation gotta give them credit. Held it down, and now they are on map point. So nothing switched up too big here. We're gonna see yet another initial this time. The only difference is both sides are swapped. So Detox kind of doing exactly what Rushy's normally does, but Rushy's gonna go and get that quick pick. Lots of stuns coming out. Can Rushy's escape? He does not. Boomshot is down on the floor. 4v4 actually coming out as if Vexies trades off kills. Detox for Rise Nation. Looks like he's kind of come out on top. But like I said, back in fourth action. Drix winning that 1v1 on the other side of the map against, uh, or I think he won the 1v1. But actually, he didn't win anything. He just kind of went there by himself. And now he wins the 1v1 against Franchise. Five dead for Reciprocity. Boomshot, you, you got to think it's in the hands of somebody. As Aversa kind of letting his teammate know where the Boomshot is at. But I, I would love to have seen Aversa pick up that Boomshot and press forward with it. Because right now, I, I look at the weapons for Rise Nation, not a single person has yet to pick up the boom shot. And now Reciprocity spawned back up, so despite going five down, somehow managed to stay alive. Why, Aversa, why? Uh, that's, that's it's a gone. One. Yeah. Look at Detox looking for it. It's gone. Your boy left it and did not get the hill. 
So let's see if Reciprocity can capitalize on this second chance that they've kind of miraculously been given right now. See if they can tie it up at 6-6 six, six and seeing if they can maybe force around 13. Obviously, you said Rise Nation, as you see on your map, is very well set up for that E-Hill hold and obviously for that next boom shot because it's going to be kind of the next big thing or the next kind of big milestone, so to speak, of this map. So if you're a wreck, you want to kind of at least maybe get an early, try and get an early retake, try and get map control over at the E side so you can be ready for that boom. This is, this is real tricky right here because Rise Nation, it, regardless of that boom shot not being put to use where Versa could have grabbed it, they're in a very good position because look at the score. It's clicking up. So realistically, as long as they don't die for E, no matter what happens, it's okay because you know Reciprocity not only has to break the hill, but they got to push forward for more. Franchise is already down, so Rise Nation in a great position to solidify the rest of this round. And they finish him off with a nade. Great nade by Drix. Now Reciprocity is going to be entering this kind of retake, entering this boom fight a man down, as of course these are some pretty long spawns in front of us. And the more time ticks, the more of a lead Rise Nation builds right now. See Rush is maybe trying to bait him out to use some of those smokes, but Powers comes away with boom. This is, he goes down though. Rezzy gets the kill on Powers. Rushy's finished it off. Rushy's finished his two off. And this is big because no matter, the, the boom shot should be spawning in relatively like 30 seconds. No, it's on the, oh, it's already Powers on the ground. picked I, it up. I, I, That's why they pushed. Powers picked okay, it up. Yeah. So now Rush has the boom. They're going to have the E-cap. Now Reciprocity will push with a current 4v2 advantage with a boom shot. Going to miss the first one. Pull that retro out. Oh my god. Rush is going to take over the rest of this right now. He's going to get the down. He's going to be able to reload that boom shot. That's it. Averse, but Aversa sneaking F. Taken out though, or down at least. Yep. So now it's up to <gasps> Rec to hold down the neutral. I see needs to go big. He needs a double kill here. Not gonna get either one. So once again, Rise Nation, they're still being able to stay in this round. The rotations are coming out. Franchise, he's gonna get dropped. Detox taking out Sleepy Time. That surely should be it for the squad. 2v3 right now. You gotta imagine Rise getting their home hill back. Detox takes out Rezik in what looked like it was going to be. An incredible comeback to force around 13 ends up falling short. That was a great try, but Jacob, we are heading to a map number three. And a really, really crazy turn of events there at the end. Reciprocity almost, almost with a nice comeback in that round to take out Rise Nation and, and force around number 13. Unfortunately for them, Rise Nation pulled.